your name? My name is uh, Augustine John. I am a representative of my younger brother to this uh, barrier. My younger brother is an in-law to this family. What is the name? His name is uh, Major Augustine Ohegbe of the Nigerian Army. Okay. Uh, as a representative who is representing someone, what advice will you give to the children? Okay, uh, advice I will give to them is that um, from the testament and and life uh, about the life that I've uh, read from the tribute and I've heard people talk about Bama since two days I've spent in this village, I want to advise them that they should try to to continue from where Mama stopped. Mama was like an icon who lived a life that is worthy of emulation. I think from just two days that I've spent here, you you just cannot talk anything about that family without mentioning the contribution of Mama to this village of Ipari in particular. And uh, to the children and others, where we shall just like you that are here, one of the uh, children, that is second son in particular, Mr. Emmanuel Lawrence Agada, is a, uh, and my younger brother I came to represent, married from one family. And uh, my prayer for them is that uh, God should grant them the gift of longevity. To me, living 83 years, uh, you have uh, benefited from the gift of long life. And I pray that also the children should be granted such gifts so that they should live even beyond 83 years. And then they should be good. My prayer for them is that those that Mama have assisted uh, during the, uh, her journey here on earth, that they should not turn their back on the family, on the children, and the community. That they should all together pray that God will give them good health of mind and body so that Mama's going we mean good thing to them by the grace of God. Uh, your name? My name is Simon, Simon Umaru. What do you do in the church? I, we are here for the funeral uh, mass of our mother, our uncle's uh, wife who died, I think, um, a month ago. And uh, we are here for the final mass so that she will go and uh, rest in the, in the bosom of the Lord. That is why we are here for the mass now. You seem to be one of the key guys in this church. Yes, uh, it is now I'm the choir master of this uh, church. Um, I based in Abuja, but due to the relationship, and she's my uncle's wife, that is why we have to relocate. We move from Abuja to this place to, to make sure that we join hands together and to make sure that the choir will sing well and we take care of the liturgy of the church so that the choir will sing very well and uh, the mass will go in order. That is why we are here and we came from Abuja for the past three days now. We have been here preparing for the mass. Now, I want to find out from you, what do you know about the late Mam Salome? Yes, Mama Salome, she's the mother of... Uh, uh, she's the mother of all, as far as uh, this Ipari is concerned. Uh, she's a mother that takes care of children, and she cares for people, and uh, she's a woman that also uh, do things in the church, and she's well dedicated in the church. Once you mention anything, that she will be the one to stand up and also contribute. Even if she don't have, she will contribute. And uh, she's a person that always wants the church to grow, and she's always in prayer. She prays very well all the time. When you see her in church, she's always with her rosary, with that rosary, I know that yes, she keep on praying and she pray for the church and she pray for the family and she also pray for the children. So, Mama, she is always in the church and she dedicate. And no matter how, even though at the time she was sick, she couldn't walk, but she struggled to come to church and also worship because she knows that yes, with God, all things will be possible for her. That is why she always comes to church and she's always serious in her church activities. That is the life of Mama in the church in the parish here, Christ the King Catholic Church. Well, you seems to be like one of the Mama's child. But uh, maybe not biologically, but what advice will you give the biological children and other children like you of Mama? Yes, the advice I will give to the children and the family entirely is uh, I want to encourage them to keep on praying for the soul of Mama. Because sometimes when somebody died, you see people will be crying, crying, crying. The only thing Mama needs now is our prayer so that the angels will welcome her in the, in the paradise. Because if you are crying, your crying will also cause you more harm than good. The only thing you do now is to pray and also pray for the life of the soul of our mama so that her life will uh, so will rest in peace. All she needs now is prayer. That is what she needs. And I will advise the family and the children should keep on praying for her. Whenever they find themselves praying, they should include mama in her prayer so that her soul will rest in peace.